I'm Virgo, so I'm going to be doing a January um, 2018 just general read for you guys. Um, starting, well, let's start with the bottom of the deck. We have the King of Wands. So, means the King of Wands is like a leader strong, powerful, courageous, charming. Um, that could be how you guys are going to be going into January. I'm not really sure. Some kind of type of authority you're going to be walking in with. Um, first we start with the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Cups as a clarifier. So the Knight is like at a calm point in motion like a proposal that he has where he's like it was a picture of a he's always trying to get up this hill to this cup so he's like on his way to make a proposal to um the bottom is the queen of cups so someone who's really nurturing um compassionate healing support and they'll help they're like they'll help if you need it it's clarified by the king of cups so is someone getting married to um a water sign or what because this says you have the king queen and the knights it's like a family right there um so the next card you have is the high priestess in reverse um high priestess in reverse means that there's some type of secrets or there isn't going to be any action taken from um, whatever situation this is, um, but that you should trust your intuition with the lover's card. So, no. The high priestess in reverse is you have um, clouded insight and blocked intuition. So, so, it's pretty much still something that you can't see. Then you have the lover's card that is some type of partnership or balance um, between two people. So if your intuition is blocked and you can't see something, then that would be something that you need to work on with the situation because then you know that that's something you need to do and this is going to be coming for you um pitch pentacles in reverse is new job raise money news so there'll be a message coming in about this so wait page of pentacles in reverse that's the upright so reverse would be Oh, okay, so you have blocked intuition, then you have the lovers with some type of partnership and you think deep love and balance, but then you have the Page of Pentacles, so mm, maybe you're having trouble with one of your kids or bad advice, something to do with school. So maybe that's what you can't really see or that's what you need to um, trust your intuition on. Maybe it's not necessarily the lovers that needs anything because it is a, high, a major arcana because either way it's coming in for a reason. Um, next you have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So... Someone's a workaholic and jealous. And B could be financial setbacks. Nine of Wands in reverse. So it says to have faith. So maybe have faith that this is just gonna be a phase when it'll end. Um it could be some type of isolation that's going to be ending for you and an earth sign maybe um 
some type of paranoia or you're going to be defensive about this. But the thing about it is, without before you even get to the clarifier, is it's at the fruition of this. So the completion is 10 and these are nines. So even if it is some kind of um, financial thing, it's gonna it's about to be done anyway. Page of Cups in reverse. So breakup, codependence, or maybe just dealing with a bratty child. But it's an emotion, maybe it's just how you feel with this situation. <clears throat> maybe you feel that this This fire sign is codependent. Maybe you feel like breaking up, <laughs> but that doesn't mean you're really going to do it. It just means it's an emotion that you have at that time. Well, when you're stressed out about money, I mean, you probably feel like giving up on a lot of things. I probably would too. I don't know. That's just an emotion though, and like I said, they're at nines, so it's about to be done anyway. Um, now the Nine of Cups. So, wish is coming true. Um, material abundance, good health. So, nines, again, what's three nines? And so, like I said, the other step ended and you went right into um, wishes coming true. So that's wishes coming true. Then you have the tower. So have a wish come true. Then boom, something something comes in. And the tower could it be just a sudden change in something? Some kind of, sometimes it's a release of something that you, maybe you needed to release. So when you wanted to break up, then maybe this is when you do it. When you, you get some money and you kind of feel better and you're like, yeah, maybe I still do want to break up with you. The hangman in reverse is a clarifier. So someone's going to feel like a victim and that they, someone was a traitor. And cups is water sign. So, somebody in that situation feels like they were betrayed. But we have one, two, how many, three, four, so we have four major arcana in the month of January, so there's going to be some big changes, good changes anyway, mostly good news, a couple bumps in the road, but... You'll be all right.